I decided not to do the exact math here, but Mariah Carey has performed hundreds of live shows all across the globe. Yet for this video, I decided to take the time and dedicate it to a one specific show that took place in 2015 in Kingston, Jamaica. Why? Because I do believe it is a special concert that cannot be left forgotten, at least in the context of Mariah Carey's career. This video has been inspired by the Queen of Emily and their video dedicated to the same exact concert. Thank you for letting me make my own video. Link to the channel and the original video will be in the description. Disclaimer. During this show, Mariah has allegedly been under influence of a non-alcoholic substance. I want to say that I do not condone the use of such substances by performers, and Mariah's impressive vocals here are first and foremost the result of Mariah's skill and talent. If you get intoxicated in hopes of sounding like Mariah Carey, I promise you, you will be very disappointed. That is not how it works. Without further ado, let's get into Let's get into it. Actually, Mariah has received a bit of flack for this concert. Due to a lip sync malfunction, you probably have already seen this clip. While this moment looks quite funny, if this is what we're gonna focus on, we're gonna miss out on a lot of greatness. During this unpredictable concert, Mariah has delivered easily some of her best vocals of the past decade and perhaps some of her best vocals in her career. Definitely one of the most interesting. Stage presence. Since over the years Mariah has gained a tendency to look somewhat tense and anxious on stage, it is such a delight to watch her super confident, relaxed, excited, passionate and more carefree, even if it's clear that she got some help in this regard. Creativity. You can tell that Mariah simply overflows with musical taste and creativity. Exciting note changes, inventive alternative melodies, she is in her elements. It comes so naturally for her, as easy as breathing. She has taken more than a few risks throughout the show and paid off on a lot of them. Show 
Not every outlet is super polished, the execution is quite all over the place here and there, but they're all rooted in great musicality. To love you, then my heart just If only she could be this fearless on stage now. Technique While Mariah Carey has developed unhealthy vocal habits over the years and would greatly benefit from a voice therapy or consistent vocal lessons, I still stand by that. Listening to the show in Jamaica, it's clear that she still has a strong sense of what good vocal technique feels like or at least a great technical intuition. Powerful but quite balanced belts, surprising vibrato, vocal runs. voice gets rough and dry at times, but in general it sounds full and consistent throughout. Mariah sounds quite smooth and so is her phrasing. You can tell there is a lot more legato to her singing than recently. She just sounds more fluid. It's important because smooth, graceful legato has always been a signature and one of the greatest strengths of Prime Mariah. The concert in Jamaica was a special night. 
for a few reasons. Despite some inconsistencies, I hope we can collectively appreciate this show and keep it in our memory. I hope in 2023, we'll get to hear Mariah sound strong and healthy because she can absolutely do it. Fingers crossed. With that said, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you in my next one. For now, bye guys. Wait, no. I don't know. Bye guys.